I'm Ryan Wolowski. I'm in Washington, D.C. in front of, well, I guess you recognize all of that activity. It's at the White House. Let's check in with Paul about the current election of the 44th President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Paul, how are you? I'm doing all right. So let's talk about, we just announced that we're having our first African-American president. He is a Democrat president. He's a president that's coming into office during a wartime. What are your thoughts about who won? Got mixed emotions about it. Uh, I think it's good because now we've finally broken the ceiling uh, of silliness that African Americans can't advance in this country. I think that's a good thing. Uh, maybe it'll uh, finally help bring about some of the ends of some of the um, affirmative action programs and stuff that have happened in the past. Um, and we'll see what happens with him. He's talked a lot of rhetoric in the uh, election, and uh, I doubt he's going to be able to keep up with a lot of what he said, for instance, his tax cut in lieu of the economic situation and whatnot, although it really wasn't a tax cut, but more of a welfare payment. Now let's talk about John McCain. Why do you think he would have been a good president for the United States of America? John McCain is a war hero, probably has suffered more than any person for this country that has ever run for the office, and uh, for that, uh, I've got the most respect for John McCain, and I wish he had won because of that. Now how do you feel Obama will do in this transition during a war? Tough to say. He's inexperienced. Only has been in the Senate for a couple of years and spent more of that time running for president than anything else. Uh, has no military service, uh, and uh, community organizing, uh, organizing isn't necessarily a, a requisite for being commander in chief. And now he does have that title where he will be running this country. Where do you see as his strongest point now that we can't change our president elect? What do you think is his strongest point that gives you some sense of hope now that he has won? You've left me speechless because I don't know the answer to that. Well, like I said, we'll see what he does. He's going to have a, a lot of uh, very leftists uh, running Congress who will uh, uh, probably be tying, uh, t pulling him try at least toward the left. I'm talking of Barney Frank and uh, Henry Waxman and uh, Nancy Pelosi and uh, even Harry Reid in the Senate. So uh, he's going he's gonna to have his uh, shoes tied, so to speak. All right, Paul, thank you for your time. Only time will tell how Barack Obama will handle the presidency. I'm Ryan Wolowski in Washington, D.C. 